And our world knows that Africa has been known for producing some of the brightest minds this world has to offer. I don't want to say too much about my heavy hitter tonight because his long list of achievements in the corporate sphere in the entire world, this man has become one of the most respectable entrepreneurs, not only in Africa alone. Mr. Sandy Lezung is the executive chairman of Zungi Investments, which is involved in different spheres, different sectors and industries, from financial services, mining, general services, gaming, book publishing, and the media. When did the entrepreneurial bug bite you? Well, I come from a township from Lazo. My mom was a nurse, my father was a factory worker. He would bring Vaseline and my mom would bring empty bottles uh, for uh, call it, uh, pharmaceutical products and would pack this Vaseline and go around in the township selling it just to make a bit of uh, pocket money. So that's when the entrepreneurial bug really hit me. That's quite interesting. And then what was your first business after graduating? When I completed uh, engineering, I worked for six years, did an MBA, and I felt I needed to go into finance. Went for a, worked for a year for a merchant bank, um, and then I was approached by a trade union um, out of all parties, uh, South African Railway and Harbour Workers Union, you know, to start an investment company for them. That's when I felt really I could do this on a formal basis. Um, and then in 2000, I started my own company, Zoom Investments Company, Zico. My first investment was a cleaning business. Um, I formed a joint venture with Supercare. I cleaned transit headquarters, I cleaned the airports. I cleaned uh, the headquarters of the Reserve Bank and that really made a foray for me into business. And how does an entrepreneur like yourself manage their time out of all these uh, busy or different interests? The main interest, the main issue is you must have people that you trust, people that really can land on their feet and run, that are properly incentivized, they know what they're doing. That's what we have in Zico. I have chartered accountants, I have MBA graduates uh, who have experience and they're driven. Um, the earlier you start, the better, absolutely no doubt. Mm. I marvel and I envy people who start very young and they make their errors, they end their school fees because you have to end the school fees. So making mistakes is part of the journey? It's part of the journey. I've made serious mistakes. I've lost lots of money for myself, for my own shareholders, but I've always taken that as a learning and I've soldiered on. And you got into investing in other businesses, you're a venture capitalist. Like, how, how does one want to get into the business of investing if they've got nothing in their pockets? How did you start your first investment? My first investment was about me having skills. Uh, I had been there, done that. I knew I had relationships that were valuable to those that wanted to partner with me. I knew that Supercare, for example, was not in the public sector. They were not in transplant, they were not in SOEs. And I asked them, why not they? I said, no, we've got no relationships. We don't understand how these people make decisions. I said, I understand how they make decisions. Back me, come, I'll give you contracts. I'll secure contracts for you, but you bring the capital, you bring the know-how, and you guarantee performance. And that's how it developed. Wow, very interesting. A lot of entrepreneurs complain about getting funding when they start. Do you have to always get funding before getting a business started? Let me tell you, funding is a backbone for everybody, not just for startup entrepreneurs, even for serious businesses. Some cannot grow beyond five billion simply because they've got no access to capital to take them to the next level. So this is all relative. But why I always argue that the main thing that an entrepreneur must have is the passion, the drive, and the never say die attitude the single-mindedness to succeed no matter what, and to be innovative and to embrace innovation, and to be driven to have the energy, um, and obviously to have the ideas and to have the vision. Money will come along the way. Money will come. Money will come along. Money will chase good ideas. Now, if you, if you see money as an impediment and it, become, it blocks your vision, you will always stay poor and always blame others who have got access to relationships. Uh, where, whereas the truth is, you possibly are short on ideas. Ladies and gents, questions for Mr. Sandy Lezumo. You, you mentioned that uh, don't chase money. Money will come, um, obviously, with the ideas. But, I mean, did you lose money because of maybe, you, did you focus on the, on, 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 on the money or what? Um, I just wanted to clarify on that. Well, number one, my business model is not to have all eggs in one basket. So failure in one area, uh, it does not mean total failure. So that's how I've managed to uh, prevent total calamities by having a balanced portfolio of activities. Number two, when one loses money, 
um, you know, you have to uh, rely on money made elsewhere. Uh, there is absolutely no doubt that there is an important role that uh, mentors have got to play in the development of young people. Not only young people, even myself with more than 20 years now entrepreneurial experience. I still have people that I call on for advice, for counsel uh, and to open doors for me. What does it take to lead in this, uh, in this sector and uh, overcoming those challenges, uh, keep on the consistency? Leadership, thank you. thank you. One of the key attributes of successful entrepreneurs is single-mindedness. Distinguish that from stubbornness. Is single-mindedness that there will be challenges, there will be troughs and peaks, but I will succeed no matter what. If you are handling so many businesses and having such a big team, dealing with issues of stress and stuff like that, how do you escape, how do you recharge as an entrepreneur? Very good question. Well, um, there are many ways of recharging, uh, but the most important thing is the support network. Who constitutes your support network? Um, when you are faced with serious challenges, who are those people that you trust, that are your confidantes, who can give you advice without fear or favor, but that goes straight to the heart? Um, I've just started a trading company, and for me, the, the, the thing that I fear is losing money. How do I overcome that fear and translate my investments into exponential growth? There's an old cliche, no risk, no gain. <laughs> Unfortunately, if you want to make money in business, you've got to take those risks and the possibility of losing money is always looming. On behalf of millions of us out there, young entrepreneurs, young professionals and students, and a lot of them that you've actually put to school and educated when our graduates, we'd like to thank you for the role you're playing in Africa as a whole and we'd like to wish you um, all the best in your business ventures in the future. Thank you. <laughs>